<laughs> I don't know who's hands went up first. Thank you. I'm curious to know, in more, more specifically with the window, what do you think goes on with people when it doesn't work or when people have the aversive response to it or even with your performance piece? What do you think is going on within people where they can't connect to that and they shut down? Um, just two very different things I want to point to. One thing is we were just doing something bold that hadn't been done before, so it was sometimes hard to make the technology work the way it's needed. So part of the experience was frustration with it not working out of the gate for everybody the way it was designed. And the other piece is way, way deeper. It's um, when you're imprinted with an expectation it's an action movie, it's fast, it's this and that, and I have done VR, and I have shot 100 zombies in five minutes, and that defines your level of expectation. And you get served something completely different, then that can be a shock or a disappointment. And there's two potential reactions to that, or responses, right? You can be curious about a completely different flavor, or you can push it back, like what I don't like, I don't eat. And so it was a little bit, um, other immersive projects have like the Museum of Ice Cream, and it's based on the traditional success model of throw sugar at people in every room and have pink colors and it will work, and we were not that. Um, we were the opposite. Did you want to say Yes, I was fascinated, Marco, by what you were saying about um, women and how it's uh, changing. Um, how would you express to men through art what the world would be like if uh, two-thirds of the people in power were women? Uh, we're getting towards two-thirds of college graduates are women. Uh, if we have a woman as president, you know, uh, how do you express to men, and that's for anybody there, um, what that world would be like? Um, I have very little time, so I'm going to try to do this. Um, I, I look at this a lot, and I feel like one of the issues that happens is that men and women can't see each other very well. And it seems like we should be able to, because we seem like we're very much alike and we grew up together and all that. But it looks to me like, um, well, I'd say as a man, like I'm a pretty simple being. I can pretty much know what I'm doing and what I'm thinking about and why I'm doing it. Like, it's pretty simple. And what I, what I get, and I'm old enough to now, I think, to say that women are, I would say, 10,000 times more complicated than men. And that's what, like, like they're like, no, men are just like you. They're, they're a little less complicated than us. It's like no, 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 no. You know, you cannot even imagine that complexity is makes it difficult to do. We work within male systems, which are so simple, like who's dominating the room, uh, wins almost all the time. I mean, that's just so dumb. But we're doing it. You know, I want all the money and all the women. I'm like, okay, who's doing? Who's playing that game? Look at the world. I mean, that's what it is. So I think that if if women were had much more ability to to focus where we put our attention, um, it, would, it would be very different. Um, like you don't throw your child out if they make a mistake, but you will throw a stranger out of the community if they make a mistake. And men are great at that. You're out. Kill him or he's gone, you know, whatever. I think men, women, there'd be much more of a sense of like, well, give this person a second of their chance when they're four years old and really try to help them out because that's the, like, we come through their bodies. Um, I think, I, I don't even know what it would look like, but I'm, I think that level of, of recognizing that why maybe we can't see each other very well. And uh, I can go on. 
Amen. <laughs> um, I just want to make a little comment about that and what you said. Um, you know, men are hunters and women are gatherers, and, and the, the role of women are so complex as gatherers, and we see it still. And that, uh, as you said, um, when a woman gives birth, whether, whether a woman is a mother or not, is that instinct of, uh, of not destroying. Uh, I did a, a, a performance many years ago, it was called uh, Creation versus Destruction. And um, I used the symbol of eggs. And I had the destroyer come in on this stage and it was just hundreds of eggs, he would just destroy it. And it's very simple, you just throw something and you destroy it. But to create that egg, it takes amazing um, genius. So I think that uh, you know we call the earth the mother earth. We 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 there is there is a sense of urgency I think that we are in of how we could empower women, how women can be really embrace that complexity, it embrace that intelligence. And uh, for me personally, with my uh, uh, work with the environment. I'm an ocean swimmer, and I every time I'm out there, I tell the the creatures, I will do something for you because you don't have a voice to say. But then it's just that connection with the Mother Earth. I live inside forests. I know that everything that is going on, they know everything is going on with me. Um, I mean, there is a reason we call it the Mother Earth. And um, I think that it's just that empowering, empowering, empowering for women to really stand up, to really feel it. And I just really appreciate it. to see your sculptures, the, the, the scale of it. Mm -hmm. So you feel so insignificant in front of it. And then you really, really see it. It's really beautiful. Imagine. <laughs> um, I think that's really beautiful. Um, I think we can talk about this polarity and disparity masculine and the feminine for another hour and a half. <laughs> um, and maybe we should have a panel on that. I think we have time for maybe one more question, unless everybody's itching to get up. Um, real quick, actually sure. I have a response. Uh, a response. A response. Uh, art heals violence, if I may. I work uh, in law enforcement. Uh, what it is. Uh, I've, I've used the term fringing with uh, violent offenders. I've seen sculptures like that with inmates. I talked to a guy down from killing another guy, that dome thing that you're talking about. Uh, they knew about it, I had no idea what this was. This was just a surreal experience, because I've seen everything with violent offenders. I mean, I've talked to guys from killing each other by throwing a sheet at them and they're fringing. I had no idea what the term fringing was. I used that verbiage with, uh, yeah. It, this was like, whoa, this was just, yeah, thank you. That was just amazing. I, I've seen that too. I've seen it in practice. Everything that you people do, I've seen it in practice. I mean, I, these are guys that some of them won't see the light of day. And I've come across situations where I don't want to be grotesque or like, where using your pieces, each and every one of you, I've seen these guys mimic dance and art and drama just to talk them down from killing them. Yeah, this was this. Wow, I feel like I'm in a dream right now. <laughs> yeah, and again, my, my, my line of work is black and white. Water and oil. I mean, logic supersedes the law. Okay, you know, this is just bizarre. If I, if I pitch myself, I feel like I'm, I'm going to wait for the rain. This is just weird. I have pieces of that fringing stuff. I have pieces of that. Your sculpture, I've seen something like that. But the site image makes something like that. I don't know who you are. I've never seen that. I had no idea you, you're the dome guy. <laughs> yeah, these are guys who are locked down or in transit. Yeah, this is bizarre. This is straight bizarre. <laughs> so that is the power of yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Creativity lives in all of us. And it just needs to be activated and supported. There's one more question.
I don't know your name. Fariba. Um, your lucid dream about the unraveling of the canvas was the first one a painted canvas? No. No, they were just blank canvas in your dream? Yes, in, in the dream I was sitting with a, 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 a the size looked like almost like a prayer carpet. And I was sitting in my uh, walking uh, um, uh, rocking chair. Uh -huh. And I was pulling this thread out, and then I became lucid because it was a bizarre behavior. That mm -hmm. I just asked myself, "What am I doing?" And then I looked, and I saw that the other side was finished. Um, I was asked to participate in a show, uh, and I was given a whole year to produce work. So then I actually went and bought a raw canvas, sat in my rocking chair, started to finish, and then suddenly all sorts of um, inspiration came in. Have you ever unraveled a canvas? Yes, actually, what I did was I made 35 works on uh, French canvases, and then after that show was over, then I started to fringe <laughs> my painted uh, picture. Now that uh, now I'm in a totally different space with it. Before it was just a little little uh, fringe on top on the bottom of an image. But now the canvas is the occasional experience. Things get ripped and things get unraveled. Things get sewn back into. Um, the, like for instance, the first first the, the fringe were undifferentiated, and then I started to make nests. And then animals would put it outside. Animals would put eggs in it. Um, so then I better start having this relationship with, them, with nature. Um, so it's, it's all sorts of different um, works that I have. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. May I make a comment? Sure. I just, one sentence. Sure. <laughs> I would say that all of you on the stage right now, you embody, you embody why our world needs artists and the power of yeah. our yeah. 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 I'm saying that the group on this stage. There's a mic. <laughs> <laughs> group on the stage, thank you so much. You embody uh, what it is and why we need artists on this planet. Uh, and I thank you so much for the wonderful work that you're doing and how it's rippling out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.